Hi guys and welcome to the iOS Mac and Tech channel. As you know, iOS 8 has been released to be installed on your iPhones. Now you need to watch out for a couple of things before you start the upgrade and I'm going to talk also about some iCloud Drive issues that you need to watch for. First, iOS up 8 upgrade. You will need about 4.7 to 6.9 gigabytes of space uh, to download and install this update. Now, if you are like me, and I'm sure many of you are, you probably have a lot of apps installed in your device. Now, first before doing an upgrade, it's always a good idea to back up your device. You can do this in two ways. Either upgrade via device and delete some apps for those videos to make some space. If you decide to do this, make sure you back up your device first. All your purchases apps will be available for later download via iCloud. Photos and videos, however, will be not, so that's why I recommend you connect your phone to your laptop and make a solid backup before doing it. Now, the second way of upgrading is via iTunes, and this should be faster. I recommend the second version. You can choose what to keep, what not to keep, etc. After the install, you will might see that you got some additional space left back. For example, if you had 2 or 3 gigabytes of storage, but not enough to upgrade, after the update, you will see that that space will be uh, right back on your device, or even more. It depends. So, it's just like installing a software or a game. After the installer package has finished, maybe the... Uh, install space will be given back to you. It will be a temporary expansion of some sort. Uh, so you need to watch out for that. So before doing this iOS 8 upgrade, you need to uh, listen to carefully to this tutorial and make every necessary step to do a nice backup. Now moving on to iCloud. Don't upgrade to iCloud Drive unless you're already running iOS. OS 10 Yosemite. And why is that? So if you're running Mavericks and you have iOS 8, there might be a synchronizing issue between those two uh, ecosystems. And you must be running both. So if you're running iOS 8 and you have OS 10 Yosemite, uh, if you have the beta test or whatever else versions you have, then you're safe. But if you're not, and you're running either one or the other, you might have uh, sync issues. So that's why I'm recommending uh, not upgrading to iCloud Drive unless you're already running Yosemite. That was it for today. I hope you like my tips and see you next time. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.